It is the 2nd of the 4th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. I had a great weekend. Hope you did too. Uh, let's get to the news. SOT.net USGS earthquake magnitude 6.3 in uh, Oxica, Mexico. So we got a big earthquake happening down south. 3,000 dolphins found dead in Peruvian beach due to oil companies' acoustic impact. Lima, Peru. So far in 2011, some 3,000 dead dolphins have washed up on the beaches in northern Peruvian region, supposedly have been dying from the effects of petroleum exploitation in the area. And again, these companies don't care. They're just uh, greed, greed, greed. Astonishing heat in March set records for the month in the United States. For tens of millions of Americas, last month was the warmest March in their lifetimes. Meteorologists use the terms staggering, astonishing, and incredible to describe the heat across the eastern two-thirds of the nation that set thousands of temperature records for March in cities and towns from the Dakotas to Maine to Florida. It's almost like science fiction. Weather historian Christopher Burt of private forecasting company Weather Underground reported last month. Again, this weather is unprecedented, the jet stream is off doing whatever the hell it wants, and uh, we are reaping the rewards of that. Japanese experts warn of earthquakes that could produce 34 meter tsunamis, uh, over 100 foot tall, again, that's a very seismically unstable area, and literally parts of that island are sliding. Um, who knows what's in store for Japan. Relief wells, heavy mud to plug, being tried to stop North Sea gas leak. Uh, where we heard this before. <coughs> BP. Large volumes of gas continued Friday to gush into the North Sea from an offshore oil platform with energy giant Total trying two di divergent methods in hopes of stopping the leak. Uh, and again, they're talking about flying helicopters out there to... Uh, get a better test, but they're so worried that this stuff is so flammable that even a hammer strike can create this huge super explosion. There's so much gas coming out, they've dug so deep. And uh, again, the insanity continues. Gulf's dolphins pay heavy price for deep water oil spill. A new study of dolphins living close to the site of North America's worst spill ever uh, BP Deepwater Horizon catastrophe two years ago has established serious health problems afflicting the marine mammals and all the people uh, in the greater Gulf area. The water is absorbed and rained down with all that corrects it and God knows what else they dumped onto that thing. Uh, definitely an ongoing situation that we will be dealing with for a very long time. Uh, over to the extinction protocol, got a couple stories I want to cover there. Alert level raised to orange in Colombia's Nevado del Ruz volcano. Central Colombia's authorities closed the National Nevados Park Sunday after an increase in seismic activity of the volcano. So we got another one gearing up in Colombia. Cyclone Daphne leaves trail of destru destruction across Fiji. People in flooded, ravaged Fiji have begun returning to their homes after spending several days in evacuation centers. At least four people died in some of the worst flooding in the country seen in decades. Another big storm. That's about all I want to cover off of that page. It's got war drums and economy stuff. Over to uh, RSOE. Uh, they, they got a story on where they're flying a helicopter out and um, they still... They haven't gotten close enough to it to, to figure out what they're going to do yet, but they're trying to do it as safe as possible. Uh, New Zealand uh, is reporting uh, one heck of a meteor shower uh, storm. Well, not a meteor shower, but a, a meteor event that there was a great show up in space. Uh, extreme weather in Zambia. Uh, Air Force Base, Hill Air Force Base in Utah. Um, they're reporting they found a bunch of mercury in unmarked bottles and they haven't disposed of that and they still haven't explained what the heck's going on with that. Uh, got another oil leak off the coast of Brazil. Uh, the Campos Basin offshore the state of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, they're saying it's a relatively small leak, 30 or 3,000 barrels kind of thing. But you got to remember the last leak they had out there went two weeks before uh, 
they reported anything, so what's going on off the coast of Brazil, again, where they're drilling very, very, very deep for these wells. Uh, more flooding in the Philippines. I'll get to that. Flooding in Ecuador. And that's about all new they got going on right now. Over to the nuclear stuff. Uh, e, e News, I'm just going to cover that. Everyone knows nuclear plants are not really safe. Only a few nosy di n noisy diehards arguing radiation from nuke plants are harmless, and these are the people getting paid uh, from the nuclear industry, I'm sure. Uh, Menachi expert Sir Ryder, government sources say number four pool, a grave concern. This is Fukushima Daiichi. Storage pool, barely intact. We have no time to humor senseless thinking of those who would downplay the risks if we lose this containment for the pool and that all those couple hundred tons of this MOX radioactive fuel, and you got to remember they're just about ready to reload the reactor, so it's got some very hot fuel in there as well. Uh, exposed fire and madness ensues. Fox San Diego, unprecedented? Question mark. California nuke plant forbidden from reopening. We've never really seen the feds take such a drastic step. Locals stunned and alarmed. Now this is the reactor that they kept finding the pits in the fuel rods because they switched them out to a cheaper version and uh, God knows what they uh, put in those damn rods. Nuclear expert Fukushima Daiichi, like a horror movie where the creature keeps coming up from the grave. It's not going away. It's not going away for several hundred thousand years. Uh, Fukushima is going to be leaching into the Pacific Ocean this radioactive tea bag that is Japan for many, 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 many generations to come. Radioac uh, where do we go? Radioactive waste specialist would be just a few hours before fuel catches fire in reactor number four pool if cooling water supply was lost. Enjoy while you can everybody. If I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Thanks for your support.